All right, everyone. So here is a food pantry meal. I have some country style ribs here. It's a two pack. We got these at the pantry probably, I don't know, maybe a month ago, two months ago. And so I'm going to bake these. And these two potatoes we got at yesterday's food pantry. So we're going to have baked potatoes. And then uh, we'll probably just have a veggie or something on the side. I might have corn. Glenn might have some green beans or peas or something. So, all right. But for now, I got to get these potatoes washed up and put in the oven. All right, everyone. So I've got some uh, sweet corn warming up in the microwave. Glenn is having cranberry uh, sauce with his. So um, Glenn actually came up with this way to do the baked potatoes. Uh, so his idea oops, was to peel them and I still poke the holes in them, just cover them in tin foil, and then bake them that way. Um, and I think it actually turned out pretty good. So when they were done and the ribs, the country style ribs were still cooking, he also suggested maybe take them out, put some butter in them and some cheese. He actually uh, had me put garlic powder on his and then throw them back in the oven. It looks like it came out pretty good. So. So yeah, that's the way we did our baked potatoes. Something new. Can't leave any of that cheese behind. <laughs> yeah, it looks delicious. All right, I'm gonna grab my corn. Nice and sweet. So here is a food pantry meal. The ribs from the food pantry, the corn from the food pantry. Uh, these were the last, um, actually I had a couple more potatoes. Oh, actually no, we got these at the pantry yesterday. So potatoes are from the pantry. And uh, seasonings we used here. Yeah, so another delicious food pantry meal. Country style ribs, baked potato, uh, corn, and he has some cranberries, so. All right, so stay tuned for the next food pantry meal. All right, everyone. So here is my next uh, food pantry meal. I took a pound of the ground beef that we received from the pantry. As you can see, I made some uh, hamburger uh, patty balls, and I'm going to smash them out right here. And we're just going to have some hamburgers for lunch today. So if you haven't seen me do this before, I usually uh, just put parchment paper over it. This is like a six inch skillet or griddle. You can see how small it is. My hand fits in there. And I just took the back side, take the back side and smash your patty down. And it's much like a smash burger, except I do them, I smash them before I put them on the griddle. And cooking them on the electric griddle is really good. It gives it a nice crust. So that's all I do, and that's all we're having for lunch. I, I uh, sliced up some onion for Glenn. He'll just have some uh, ketchup, onion, and horseradish mustard. So that's what he's going to have. And I think I might fry an egg and make mine a Royale burger. And I have a slice of Swiss cheese here. I don't know that I'll eat two, so I don't want to put the cheese on right away for the other one. But I am going to fry them up. So there we go. Smash burger. I hope you're all doing well. Hope you have a nice weekend. It is Saturday right now. Today is Saturday. Yesterday, uh, overnight Thursday into Friday morning, we had a snowfall. It was about, uh, I don't know, three, four inches. But uh, it's, it's still on the ground, except on the driveways, it's already melted.
See, they look big when they go on there, but they're already shrinking. That's why I like to make big patties, because by the time they shrink, I'm hoping they'll stay, stay big. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I'll get uh, four on there. <laughs> they're pretty big. I'm going to scoot them over. And I seasoned the uh, ground beef while I was uh, mixing it all up with uh, seasoned salt, pepper, and onion powder. Let me get one right here. smash burgers going on. Alright, so my goal is to get all the burgers over here to the right side because that's where the most heat is. I have some hamburger buns that are sliced up and I want to toast them. So I'm going to move this one down here. Getting a nice crust on that first one I put down. That leaves the room over here on the left side for toasting the hamburger bun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip this one. I like that crust on it. Looks really nice. But you see how much they shrunk. <laughs> All right, so one thing I forgot to show you in the pantry hall in the afternoon one, we got some hamburger buns from a local baker here. And uh, they're really thick. So what I did was cut them cut some bread out of them. I'll show you how thick they are. They're pretty thick and we don't like real thick buns uh, that are really bready so I made them this small. I just cut the middle section out of them. So I did that to four of them. So I'm going to go ahead and start toasting the hamburger buns. That's why I chose these hamburger buns because I figured, well, it's a it's an easy lunch with hamburgers. All right, so I'm just gonna start putting the buns on. Oh. Grease popping up at me. I'll put two buns down right away and because the first ones will go to Glenn because I'm going to fry an egg for mine. All right, so you can see the hamburger buns are getting a nice toast to them and Glenn should be ready real soon. All right, so here is Glenn's hamburgers. I sliced up the onions. I already took uh, ketchup and mustard to them, so... I turned off the griddle so I can get Glenn set up and then I'll come back and make my egg. Okay everyone, so 
I turn the griddle back on. I'm going to go ahead and start toasting mine, my hamburger buns. I'm actually going to only toast one because I'm only going to eat one hamburger right now. I don't know if I can eat two because uh, hamburgers are a pretty good size. And with the egg and cheese on top of it, it's pretty filling. So I'm just going to toast one. If I am still hungry, I'll toast the other one. But uh, for now, I'm going to do that. I took my hamburger patties off because I don't want them to overcook. But now I'm going to put one back on and put the slice of uh, cheese on it. I got Swiss cheese that we got from the pantry. So if you think about it, everything is from the food pantry. The hamburger buns, the Swiss cheese, the hamburgers, um, the eggs. The, the egg that I'm going to cook for mine is from the pantry. And for Glenn's, all that... Uh, he used from us is the seasonings, ketchup, mustard, and uh, what else? Onions. So this was pretty much a complete food pantry meal for lunch. And it's going to taste super good. Oh, uh, what I also did is I took a whole chicken that we received from the pantry a couple months back. And I have it cooking on the stove. And I'm going to make some chicken noodle soup with it. So that's going to be another pantry meal. It's utilizing all our pantry stuff and all our leftovers. I'm going to go ahead and crack that egg. I'm going to put some pepper, a little bit of salt. And you can see the Swiss cheese is starting to melt over here on the hamburger patty. I forgot about my buns. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just talking away and there's my buns burning. They're not burning, but... So the chicken noodle soup will definitely uh, feed us two people for two nights for sure. And then I'll probably end up freezing some for another meal. So that'll work out great. Go ahead and take my uh, hamburger buns off. Your bun. And what I'm going to do is put the hamburger patty on here, and then I'm going to throw the egg right on top of that, and that'll further melt the cheese. As big as those patties were when they were raw, it actually uh, turned out really good because they're as big as the hamburger patties or the buns. I'm going to go ahead and turn the griddle off. And there it is. Oop, get back here. There is my Royale Burger. Oh yeah. Oh, you can see that Swiss cheese melting up to the side there. Oh, that's going to be delicious. I'm wondering if I should cut it in half. I think I will. All right. There you go. You can see the inside of my Royale Burger. Oh, tasty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and enjoy lunch and uh, stay tuned for the chicken noodle soup. All right, so see you then.
right everyone so here is the whole chicken that I was cooking on the stove I had it on the stove top for about five and a half hours on really low heat so it is done so I'm gonna let it sit there while I get the juice out of it and strain all the little particles out of it so yeah we're gonna get this uh, chicken noodle soup going I'm gonna move this to the side I'm going to bring this bowl on. I'm going to use a strainer. And this is all the juice came from the chicken. All right, I'm just going to wipe this out. Wipe all the particles out of there. All right, so now I'm going to get the juice back in the pot. I wipe off this grease off the counter. All right, I'm just going to pour this back into the pot. And I'm going to throw some chicken broth in there. That's what we have. So And at some point I am going to put chicken bouillon cubes. I do not use the Knorr uh, bouillon powder. I don't like the way it tastes. It gives the soup a different taste. So I'm, I'm not going to use that. I've done regular cubes before and I've done the Knorr uh, better than chicken or I don't know, chicken bouillon flavor. And you can t I can tell the difference at least. And I don't like the way it tastes. So I'm going to stick to chicken bouillon cubes. So this is uh, pretty much almost all a uh, food pantry meal. The whole chicken, as I said, is from the pantry. The chicken broth is from the pantry. Um, what we had were the carrots and the bouillon cubes that I'm going to use later. Oh, and the egg noodles we had also. Oops. All right, so I'm going to pour the carrots in here. I've already got them cut up. And I want to let these cook before I throw the noodles in. I'll let these cook for a little bit and then I'll throw the noodles in so they can cook. Yep, um, I'll let these cook for about, I don't know, maybe a half hour and then I'll throw the noodles in. Meanwhile, while that's cooking, I'm going to take some of the chicken off to put in here. And then uh, also see what we need to add to it. Oh, I am going to throw some onions in too. Not much. These are, uh, Glenn had these left over from his hamburgers this afternoon. So I just cut them up. All right. I'm going to get this going and I'll be back. All right, everyone. So I don't know what I recorded last, but <laughs> as I uh, went through the process of putting everything together, I actually forgot to turn on the recorder. So everything is in here now. Um, I'm just letting it cook so the noodles and the carrots uh, get done. And then uh, we'll see how much bouillon I have to add. All right, everyone. So here is our chicken noodle soup. I didn't record much of the process. I forgot to turn it on once I got started. But all it is is the broth from the chicken, the whole chicken that I cooked. I deboned and I used the broth for the soup. And I also added some chicken broth and some bouillon cubes, carrots, uh, egg noodles, and obviously the chicken and a little bit of onions. And that's it. So Pretty simple and it's still going to taste good and that is a delicious food pantry meal. Alright, so that's going to do it for these three food pantry meals. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate all the support. 
And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.